Hey, it, all those out there. I'm here watching Roland, and he is doing something very uh, special. He's readying his sword. He's getting a nice edge on it. He wants it to uh, bite very well. Uh, and uh, what are you having to ready it for to bite into? Okay, so we're going to run some combat tests, and this is going to be Viking Sword and Shield versus the Mighty Danax. So uh, we're going to do three rounds, and the first one is going to be um, my Blunt Viking Sword versus Arthur's Blunt Dane Axe, and of course I will be carrying a Viking Shield. And then next, um, I'm going to put aside the sharp sword and pick up, uh, sorry, put aside the blunt sword and pick up a sharp to see how this interacts with the Dane X. And then finally, I'm going to, um, or Arthur is going to pick up a sharp Dane X, which he has just sharpened, to see how this works in this kind of uh, combat. And uh, we're really looking forward to the results. I will be wearing a mask as a last resort. Uh, of course, the fencing masks will not live up to heavy blows with uh, Danex, so don't try that at home. It's just like a safety resort, uh, just some protection in case uh, something slips off and goes to the face that there is some protection. So this is our, these are the tests that we're going to run, and the idea is we want to find out why the sword was so super popular, while in reenactment and living history and all over the internet, people find out in their experiments that the spear or the axe uh, or the pole, app, uh, or pole weapons in general are so superior to the sword. Yep. And we think that's due to the fact that all these experiments are run with blunts. Blunt we'll weapons. Out. Yeah, we will shall find out. It's going to be excellent. Uh, Arthur, can you bring that axe over and hold it in front of the camera for a moment? Oh, I wanted to see what is going to cleave your shield so in twain. compared to the size of Roland. Yeah. Do you still feel confident, Roland? <laughs> and that is razor sharp, correct? This also? one is not. This is this oh, is that's the your one blunt. to torment Roland. The one to kill Roland is over on the wall. Oh, and now you did sharpen that one earlier as well, like he's doing. Yes. That Are one you confident that it will split hairs laying on the water breath? Yep. Yeah. My goal is to get really close to his head and just shave some of the hair off. Oh, just oh. to the bottle shop today. So. You should have told me earlier. It could have saved me some money. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't need the haircut. You could just give him one. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, I just wanted to let everybody know that we're going to be filming this test, and I wanted to say thank you to everyone out there when you see this video uh, for sending me up here to Outspoke Viking Martial Arts, the ones who did donate and the ones who spread the word to get the donations because you're just as, just as important, even if you couldn't help me yourself. I'm going to be staying up here longer because we managed to work that out. I was originally supposed to fly back earlier than I expected. Uh, so I should be up here till Monday. So we should get a lot of footage. Uh, maybe some more live feeds like this where you just get an update of what's going on. But what we're going to do is actually film this. And this will be a video coming out on uh, Thane Thrand and on Dimacanter. So if you look up Roland Vorzeka's YouTube channel and Patreon, you should be able to get uh, full in-depth videos of this entire test and have it documented. They're going to start getting ready to test it right now. So I think it's probably a good time for me to stop so I can film it with proper cameras instead of the cheesy cell phone. I do apologize for using a cell phone. That's the only way I know in this location to get a live feed quickly, readily, and efficiently. And be sure and check out uh, my page, Thrand Godfrey, and uh, Thane, uh, uh, on the Thane Thrand uh, uh, YouTube boat crew and on the Thran, uh, Thran's Well of Remembrance. If you check out those three locations, I do put up uh, Facebook feeds sometimes as well, not just uh, YouTube feeds. But anyway, as always, Farvel, thanks for watching our little clip here, and I hope it got everybody as excited as I am. I can't wait to see the results, and may the gods make sure that they are safe, because we want to keep our Roland and uh, author in good shape. Farvel.